Hello everyone. Uh, uh, welcome to Panther School. And uh, today in the in the video training season of Salesforce CPQ, today we will discuss about that discount scheduling. So, so today's agenda is discounting. What is the discounting and uh, uh, how we perform the discounting? And what is the volume based discount? What is the term based discount? And we also go through the demo part of that one. What how we can perform these things? Okay. So what is discounting? Okay. So discounting can, uh, 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 discounting is the process. Salesforce APQ not only pro uh, provided a basic discounting process, they also uh, provide you the major discounting use cases. Uh, the application of discount can be automated, means no need to take some uh, some things. Uh, uh, okay. So the discounting approach will be automatically applied. Okay, so and we also not uh, your discounting data is not lost from there. So we also track that. Okay, how much discount uh, we will giving all the things. We also give the uh, tiers that okay. Uh, this time, uh, this type of tiers. If you are at uh, sales, uh, sales engineer is updating the uh, tiers of that one. We also track that uh, data also. Okay, so we have uh, in Salesforce CPQ, uh, we have a uh, two types of discounting is there. So what is that one? So it's uh, first one is the volume based discount and se second one is a term based discount. What is the volume based uh, discount? When customer buys a large quantity uh, uh, can be renewed with uh, uh, with their when the customer is buying large quantity of the product that is called as a volume based discount. Okay, and uh, what is uh, uh, term based discount when the customer is renew their product I mean subscription is supposed that if there is a subscription based product okay and that is a long duration of that one either 12 months six, uh, six months 12 months or 24 months 36 months so let's suppose that if you are uh, taking a subscription of amazon kind of uh, uh, Three years or four years, then automatically they will uh, give you some uh, some automatically uh, the price is low as compared to if you are dealing with the monthly based subscription product. So this is all about that. Uh, the discounting process is automatically cal calculated of that one. Okay. So let me. Uh, uh, so this is all about. So uh, in the discounting uh, process, the price is always go for the regular price of that one. So if you are dealing with that uh, first uh, volume based discount or a term based discount, then the price will be updated in the field of the regular price. Okay, it's it will not update in the uh, uh, special price. It will always update in the regular prices. Okay. So always remember that this will also interview based question that okay if we apply the discounting of of uh, that one then in which field uh, in which field it will update so it will always update in the regular price of that one okay okay so now volume based discount what is the volume based discount as I discussed earlier volume based discount is all about that when we have uh, when we are buying a product and so let's suppose that. Uh, when we are de uh, sales in are dealing with that uh, particular things, then uh, 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 it will be if suppose that if your customer is buying a volume based means of a large volume of quantity, then uh, we will automatically sales for CPQ if we have a discount scheduling process is in line in that one, then sales for CPQ all uh, automatically applied to the particular product. Okay, so to close the deal and all the things so this scheduling will be so it will not the sales in the go through that okay if um if the customer is buying uh 15 products or 100 products is that then how much discount i need to give so uh we he need to multiple excel sheet he no need to check anything automatically this will be applied okay so here what will happen <coughs> we uh, uh, in the, while creating a discount scheduling, I will show you that how you create a discount scheduling. While we will creating a discount scheduling, we have a tiers we need to define there. Okay, tiers. You can say that how we applied in the uh, in the previous training session, the pricing method, and when we are talking about the block pricing. So we from there uh, we defined that uh, 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 lower bound and upper bound. 
what is the lower bound where what is the minimum quantity of that one and what is the maximum quantity i uh, means not min max uh, it is the what is the range of uh, 0 to 1 it will be giving the 10 percent discount 10 to 20 it will giving the uh, 20 percent discount this way it is there okay so discounting all not thinking about that it will always give the percentage level it will also give you also give the discounting on the amount level also okay so this is all about that one okay now what now we have a uh, three fields is there okay uh so what is the three fields is all about that upper bound lower bound and discount discount uh, upper bound is the largest quantity to include uh, within that this tier means if you are defining the uh, three tiers of that one tier one tier two tier three then first tier what is the maximum quantity of that one okay and that quantity what you're defining that is not inclusive of that one it will not include it in that one it will always exclude of that one okay and what is the lower quantity uh, lower is the it, it is the smallest quantity of that with the within the debt tier okay what is discount discount is you define it either in the amount amount of that one or either you will define in the percentage of that one on that particular product of that one okay so uh okay so let me let's go to that one we also have a different types of fields in that one i will also explain you one by one of that fields okay so here i already created but i will uh i will create new discounting of that one for that so uh you need to log in with that one and there is an object called discount scheduling from there you need to go to the click new click on new button and here you need to define that discounting of of that one so i will take that uh percentage discount no no volume based discount example okay what uh, volume based discount here we have what we have we have a range and a slab so let me uh, explain you what is the uh, meaning of that range and slab so range how it is working okay let me tell you that one no slide okay how range is working range is working in such as let's suppose that if you are uh if you are buying a product let's suppose that 90 okay uh quantity of the product is quantity is 90 okay and you have a tiers let's suppose that um tier you have in the discount tier one tier two and tier three you have a tier three tiers let's suppose i'm taking an example right now okay tier one tier two tier three so here you're defining that lower range is equal to lower is uh 10 no lower is zero and upper bound is uh 30 and what is the discount if we are giving here 10 percent let's suppose that 32 60 means and 62 100 okay so here i am giving the 15 percent discount and uh 15 percent discount and here i am giving the 20 percent discount of that one okay now what what will happen so i created this one what will happen how the range is working okay let me give you the example of that one how range is working okay so you can see the automatic if you uh, uh, if you define the type equal to range then how it is working it will be checked that what is the actual quantity of the particular product when you, uh, in the code config what is the quantity of the product it, if it is 90 okay then it will be check that in which tier it is so, uh, coming so it will coming in this tier then it will automatically give you these these things in the 20 percent discount of that product particular product okay and how the slab is working how the slab is working slab is working in such a manner that firstly 90 90 is there okay so firstly it will be checked that okay uh this uh firstly 10 percent discount after that 15 percent discount and then 20 percent discount 
so it will be checking in such a manner means every slabs they are checking that one okay till that found at uh, the total quantities uh total uh quantity we will achieve till that then it will be checking every uh, tiers of that one okay so here uh means when you calculate or 20 plus 15 plus uh 10 what is that 20 uh 10 uh 30 30 and 40 45 percent discount they were giving we are giving to these things so it it up to your business uh, process of how they are dealing with it. either they are going to the slab base or or a uh, range basis so this is the uh this is that field uh from here we will define all the things either it is in range or a slab okay so currently i'm taking in the range only okay what is the percentage amount and price <clears throat> Percentage means uh, if you are defining the percentage level means 10%, uh, 20% of discount or either uh, we will give in the amount level or if uh, in that one. So I'm taking the, here is the example. If you are defining a price, then list prices all the all work there. Okay. So this is the percentage level of that one. Now, uh, what is the aggregate scope? Aggregate scope is that one. Uh, in this field, a specify how the aggregate quantity of the quote line of product using in this schedule. Okay, means how the quantity of the quote lines you suppose that you have a turn quantities is there means uh, you defining in the quote. Okay, in the particular quote we have defining in the bundle level and there's a uh, suppose that the product is also added in the bundle there and that product is also added in the uh in the another standalone also product is there okay so we have a different different quantities there so how you define that one so is you can either go for the quote or group or this thing so currently i'm uh, taking none if you are defining the group means it will taking uh, only the group level it will not checking all the whole things or uh, all of the quote lines okay so you will define in that one Cross product. What is the cross product? Cross product is uh, if this select box is selected, then aggregate on quantity of all the product which is using the discount schedule means it will aggregate all the products of that one. Cross order means extend the volume of quantity or total volume owned by the customer means total volume how they are uh, what uh, orders of calculator of the that one it will be working on that one. Okay. Description override behavior. I will show you that how the override behavior is working. So from there you will define all the fields uh, is uh, when we are defining here now. All the fields is uh, updated automatically when you are doing. So let me go to this thing. Here, if suppose that if you have uh, exclude some price book IDs uh, from that is suppose that you, you don't want to apply the discount scheduling for the particular price book. So we will, you will ex exclude that one. Okay. If suppose that a particular price book will be applied here. So you also define if uh, your discount scheduling is working for the particular product. You also define here, here also. Okay. Click on save. Okay. Now, so uh, and from the starting when I defining this, uh, then how from where we will define that tiers because we don't have the new button is here. So defining the tiers, we will cl uh, click on the edit tiers. Okay. So uh, when you click on the edit uh, tiers, it will open the VF page. Uh, okay. And in this VF page, we will defining all the tiers here. So click on plus button, we define the multiple tiers and all. Okay. Let me define a tier one, tier two, tier three. Okay. So one to 30 is 10%, 32, 60 is 15%, need 20%, and 60 to 90, 60 to 100, I'm taking the 25% is 30% uh, is content. Let's take an example here. Now click on the save. Okay. So now you define the tiers. Okay. What is the tiers and how much discount is, uh, is applying there? Okay. Now 
you can also define uh, the product here also but it is uh, not that one so uh, from here i will go to the particular product let's suppose that i'm taking the example of 4k pro, uh, monitor from here uh, from uh, directly you can also uh, go to that one and also define the product design and all the things but in the product object itself uh, there is a field called as a discount scheduling let me click on the edit this is a product from there uh, i will define the discount scheduling you can see these things here you see the cost based discount if you have a particular cost based discount scheduling so currently i have a discount scheduling volume based discount scheduling you define here okay and now hit on the save okay so this is a uh, so our discount scheduling is ready okay now we can uh what we can say this what is the con uh price book of that is uh let me check the let me edit the price book uh price of that one is 500 uh, 1000 dollar so it will be easy to okay so now we will go to the code and then we will test that functionality let me take the example of this one this code here you will uh, add the product here and then we will test automatically it will be calculated or not okay now go to the edit line and add product okay uh, so uh, what is the group so here we will add the group fields also so it be if we defining the if the uh, in the discount level if you defining the uh, aggregator scope is um, uh, group level then it will be it will be working in such a manner that okay in this group how many code lines are there and uh, it will update the quantity based on that one okay so we are not taking this one so delete ungroup add product 4k monitor select okay you see 1000 list price is there but you see the here is a 819 how wh how it is coming the quantity is one only then it will be updated the how many discount so 10% discount i guess 30% is uh, okay 10% discount of there and you see here is 900 all uh, 900 regular unit price is 900 okay partner discount is also there okay nine percent partner discount for this uh this particular things so that's the reason only the net price is up also updated if we update to zero and click save then it will be updated the because for this one i guess there's a partner discount they are applying so that's the reason you see the regular price of this regular unit price is 900 so discount our discount scheduling is working as expected and here you also see this there is a one uh dollars uh means well let me zoom it out mm -hmm. so you see this properly okay here you see there is a one uh uh one uh things is created automatically the one uh when you click on that one uh, this is the discount scheduling product so you you see that this uh the in this product discount scheduling is applied so from this way you can define uh see this thing okay so now what will happen now suppose that now sales scenario is also want to currently see you can not able to edit anything lower bound upper bound on these things okay now now sales engineer is asking okay hey i want to uh we have a such a requirement that okay for closing such uh, uh closing are your deals and, and also we also give some 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 certain of discount to that one to um, convey okay hey if you, you are we are uh, you are our older customer so we need to give you five percent more discount for that particular things if you are buying this much uh, quantity and then we also give you some five percent discount then how we can update this thing okay so the here you also have that uh, discount functionality okay you also have that functionality to override behavior means you also override this functionality so currently uh we also uh override this discount function to all the all the tiers or 
either current years in which year this belongs to you also do this one okay so currently i'm taking this example current years only okay click on save okay so now you will see these things how it is working okay currently you see there is a only one volume where discount scheduling is there okay let me refresh also okay you see only one volume based discount is there now i am taking these things again refresh this okay quick save now refresh this thing page again and let me update the quantity of that particular product let me update to the uh, 6 uh, 55 uh, 55 quantity okay so it will be i guess uh, 20% discount okay see it will be updated the 20% discount 800 20% discount we are giving okay now you see this we now you will see this this is only tier so in which tier this belongs to so you will not update you are not able to update the uh, lower bound you only update the uh, upper bound okay or you also update the quant discount of because we also need to write some custom logic okay, okay that we cannot update uh, this much amount to and all the thing we also perform this type of task also as per the business logic let's suppose that i'm i've been updating to 65 okay and what is that one uh 25 percent discount i'm i will giving to that one click on save okay here you see that price is also updated because we also update the discount so dealing here see 25 percent okay so so regular unit price is also updated here okay now click on save so now your question is uh now you think about that okay so it will also update our uh our original discount schedule no it will not update our original uh, discount schedule. it will create a new discount scheduling object uh record of that one so from here you can track that okay the, you see there is another discount scheduling of uh, records will be created from here you will track that okay in which uh in which quote it will update it in which um account it will update i guess account also it will showing here you see in which of uh, uh quote is will update in which quote updated quote lines it will update the volume or original volume based discount so all the things it will update it if we updated quantity pre-sales <laughs> So all the things it, it you see this checkbox is checked why this is used. So from the reporting purpose, you can define okay for if this checkbox is checked, then you can think okay this is user is uh, sales is uh, manually updated this discount scheduling and all that thing. Okay, but when you see the original one, it will not impact the original discount scheduling process. Here you see it will not impact your any of the fields. Okay, it will nothing will update it. You see the pro a quantity discount in which object it will applied here all the things here okay so this is all about the volume based discount so from here i uh, hope you are guys clear about that one what is the volume based discount and how we were calculating and all the things okay so for this one uh as from the starting we also track that one okay for which i suppose that sales update the point uh, discounting process and all the things so we also track the history of that one okay for this reason this will be updated and this one is up there okay we also track the history of that one okay now now come to the, our slides okay this is term based discount what is a term based discount uh from the uh, starting of the video i told you that what is the uh, term based discount okay so firstly i will tell you that uh this uh, discount scheduling is uh apply can be associated uh associated with the different different objects like suppose that contract object price dimension object product option features product itself so discount scheduling is not dependent on the product object we also have the price book uh price uh, product option features and uh, price dimension and contracted pricing this uh, means from there also you see that in the when when i are telling you the discount scheduling and the uh, price uh, pricing model, model uh, pricing so at that time i uh, told you that uh, from there we also apply the discounting also okay okay 
term based discount what is the term based discount term based discount is an uh, is also an out of the box uh, cpq tool from there that renew the customer with this with the, a discount based on the subscription term regardless the, of the quantity means here it will be totally depend on the user subscription term okay how much duration they are taking that if suppose that um, let's like, suppose that if you are buying a subscription product from netflix of three years or five years then it will give you some amount of discount on the price as compared to an, uh, 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 the original prices of that one so this is all about the subscription based discount is working so there is no such as there term based uh term discount schedule are more limited than the volume based discount they are they as they are only change on the discount units okay because we only change the discount unit we don't need to when the uh, discount schedule is added on the to the term based uh, product and so dual field salesforce typically you use the length of the duration instead of the quantity defines in the tier so it will not define define on the uh um, it will not define on based on the quantity it will define on the what subscription terms you are using from there okay for a product from uh that has a uh, term discount to do on the slab discount amendment okay so amendment and all the things we will discuss later okay we, i already explained you the what is the how the slabs and uh, these things is working okay this is all i already explained you that what we have only more limited the volume based discount as they have discount on the tier space on uh, it will not depend on the quantity of the product it will depend on the subscription terms only okay term discount level term discount level uh, a field of the product tell you that tells uh, cpq which uh, level is most specified, specified that either quote quote line quote line groups when considering with the product or for the term based discount if subscription term is specific more than one level means if you're defining the levels of the tiers of that one it will define on that one uh md md <coughs> products is are segmented each each piece of the separated quote lines uh, means when we are uh, when i'm explaining the md mdq product from there it will be separate quote lines is uh, is created of that one so from there we also define the term based discount of that one okay let me tell you that one how we will create the term based discount okay let me create the term based discount okay in this this time i'm taking same the range only percentage only taking these things nothing 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 okay leave it that one okay now we can find here term based discount okay okay warranty so this is the let's suppose that this is a product okay so this is the product from there we will defining the term based discount i click on edit here you you do see this term based term discount selling so this is only from where if you have a subscription based product then here you will define the term based discount how you do how you see this this is a subscription based from the these two fields subscription pricing subscription term and subscription uh product no uh, subscription one more field is there override behavior is there Just, let me see um here also we need to define one more thing this is a term level is a list uh no quote okay term level discount level is either on the quote uh, quote line or line uh, group level so i am taking the quote only okay so okay leave it so <clears throat> this is uh, we added that one okay now we will go to the uh, quote again in the quote itself i will take the add product and warranty this is the product warranty okay here it will not defining of that one okay it will not depend on the this one okay it will be depend here the subscription term let's suppose that okay i didn't define the tiers here okay i didn't define the tiers sorry okay, term based discount i didn't define the tier c i didn't define the tier i need to update the tiers here 
टीयर वन टीयर थ्री वन टू ट्वेल्व ट्वेल्व टू ट्वेंटी फोर ट्वेंटी फोर टू थर्टी सिक्स मीन फिर थ्री इयर्स लेट सपोज टेन परसेंट डिस्काउंट ट्वेंटी एंड थर्टी मीन्स सेम एग्जाम्पल आई एम टेकिंग दैट वन ओके सो दिस इज ऑल अबाउट दैट वन ओके एंड हियर you see you not able to see okay let me take the another quote here okay let me take this quote now edit line and add the product here add product warranty okay when added it will now if you update the quantity nothing will happen okay if you update the quantity then it will calculate the unit prices and all the thing but nothing will happen okay but how it is will happen okay how it will happen it will define on the subscription based product only 12 okay so click on calculate okay so here you see you don't see you you are not able to see here the uh, in the discount scheduling when we are um, for the volume based it will be coming up but in the term based it will not coming up it will when you see this thing it will be uh for the 12 it will be why it is coming that one price is there wait a second please let me check one thing Override no no percentage this one this one here what we are defining here thirty six twenty percent okay 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 twenty percent discount is coming up now if you are defining here eleven month then ten percent discount is coming because see ten percent discount is coming up oh, yeah. why net total price is Let let me find here. Let me add here warranty. Then okay. Net unit price is this one. Quantity is there. Why it is. Um, regular price is updated, but yeah, I guess some something is happening in this one. Okay, 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 okay. There is a two discounting is there. I already have a discount. Uh, wait a second, maintenance. We have a product warranty extension on the warranty. Okay, so regular price is updated here. Okay, when I update the subscription term to uh twenty four months. so it will also update the you see the it will update the uh, it will update the subscription term price plus discount is also coming up okay so for the 12 months what is the price of that one uh on the price of that one is uh, for the 12 months it is uh, okay got it now the price of that one and that product is uh, see the price of that product is um uh, One thousand, okay. For the twelve month price is one thousand. You see here, for the twelve month uh, subscription term, it is a one thousand, okay. And and after one thousand, I will update it two years. Two years, what is what will have? It's a twenty per two thousand. Two thousand, we have a twenty uh, percent discount of that one. Then automatically uh, means eighteen uh, hundred automatically, but. Or uh, for that one also update the prices of that one, so it will calculated the discount scheduling of that product. So it will updated the fourteen hundred of the uh, dollar of that one. Okay, if we update the uh twenty three, then it will be different prices is coming up. Yeah, see. Let me check again. Warranty for one month. What is the price of that? Okay, wait a second. For one month, 
computer price $75 for one month it is a $75 okay for 11 month what is that price it's a $825 for 12 month it is a $800 and it is a okay it's a $800 so it will be calculated in such a manner that one okay so after that one we also give that percentage of that one and 24 uh, 23 the price is updated and also update the list unit price uh, uh regular unit price of that one okay so this is a term based discount here automatically the discount scheduling is applied here okay so this is all about the discount scheduling of that on uh, this thing so what we have discussed that uh, what is the discounting process is there and how many types of discount we have term based discount volume based discount we also give so the demo of that one yeah, and this is all about that one so let me so this is all about thank you so much and we will continue these things in the next video. thank you